So her, her request really was about prosperity. But it wasn't just about prosperity. I'd like for you to write this word down. Write down the word protection. Because her request was really also about protection. Now, you may or may not know this, but they, I think all of us know they were under Roman occupation and Ro- Roman rule. But what that meant was they were being persecuted, not just the Christians, but the Jews were being persecuted by the Romans. If you opposed them, if you, if you did anything that to defy the, the, the Roman Empire, man, they would beat you, they would throw you in jail, and they would not hesitate to crucify you. Like, it wasn't just Jesus who was crucified. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of people were crucified like at no other time in history. These were very, very just cruel, cruel people to a level that most of us really can't even understand. Write this down. Submission, submission is exchanging earthly security for heaven's security. Submission is exchanging earthly security for heaven's security. I want you to just think for just a moment, what's your greatest fear? Like, so what's the one thing you're like, uh, that is what I'm afraid of? I want you in your neighborhood gathering, I'll give you just a moment, I want you to share with somebody around you, what is it that freaks you out and that scares you? Share that. So I, listen, we're, we're all afraid at times. We all have things that we are afraid of. I, I know there's things that I... One of, my, one of life's great regrets for me, just to be transparent, is uh, about 10 years ago, I was with a group of buddies, and we were at Grand Lake, and we went over to Dripping Springs. Some of you know about Dripping Springs, and there's the cliffs, and you can jump off the cliffs. And all the guys are like, we're jumping off the cliffs. And I'm like, yeah, we're jumping off the cliffs. Yeah. And then we got to the cliffs. <laughs> and I looked up at that cliff, and I'm like, I can do this. I can do this. And I started to climb up the rocks, and, uh, and I thought, no. No, I'm, I'm not doing this. That's, this is too crazy. I'm not doing that. And, and honestly, it's, it's been one of my great regrets. I can tell you this, following Jesus is risky. There is a great risk. And if you don't, if you don't sense the risk in following Jesus, I want to challenge you this morning. Am I, am I following? Because if you're comfortable, if it's just easy, you don't think much about it. You got to ask yourself, am I really following? Because if you're following Jesus, he's going to lead you right into risk. It's going to cost you something, okay? There's going to be a leap of fear. Like, you heard me right. I did not say leap of faith. I think it's a leap of fear. Like, I am freaking out. I don't know how this is going to end. I don't know where God is taking me, but this is what he's telling me to do. It may cost me everything. I may not receive the rewards of this earth. Things may go badly for me here on this earth, but I'm going to do this for the cause of Christ. Like, when's the last time you thought that way? When's the last time you said, I'm going to lay it all on the line. I'm going to do whatever. I don't care about my reputation. I'm willing to take that risk. The disciples, they were willing to take the risk. They did not pray safe prayers. They prayed, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. There's, there's this incredible story. Later, after Jesus' resurrection, he ascended to heaven. The Holy Spirit has come, and Peter and John are out preaching the gospel. They get arrested. They get beaten, and, and they're in prison, but there's this miracle where an angel comes and frees them from the prison, and they go back to where all of the believers are gathered and all the believers are praying for them. And when they get there, you, you would think that the believers would start praising God and thanking God, which they do. And then you think the very next thing they do is say, they pray, God, would you protect us? God, would you watch over us? God, would you keep us safe? They didn't pray that. In fact, actually what they prayed was this, make us bold. I think somebody needs to write that down right now. Where You need to write that down and make that your anthem for 2021. Make me bold bold. Come on, turn to somebody in your gathering and say, hey, God's going to make you bold. God is going to make you bold. What do I mean by that? It costs the disciples everything. They, they, They lost their lives. They were martyred for their faith, all of them except for John, and he was boiled alive. They lost everything, but they changed the entire world. 
And their greatest reward was in heaven, their eternal security in heaven. Do you think any of them, any of those who were martyred for their faith and for the cause of Christ, as Hebrews tells us, you think any of them regret any, any of that? No, because they know they, it was a life well lived. And I think instead of praying risky prayers, so often we're praying risk adverse prayers. And I want to challenge you in your prayers in, in 2021. Stop praying safe prayers of, of comfort and security. Safe prayers never change the world. Safe prayers never change the world.